Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The United States Air Force possesses some of the most advanced techniques to destroy targets with extreme accuracy. From A-10 Warthogs to B-52 Bombers, their pilots undergo rigorous training to ensure they can deliver precision strikes on ground targets. The A-10 Warthog is a formidable ground attack aircraft that requires highly skilled pilots to operate effectively in combat. In addition to the primary flight training that all Air Force pilots undergo, A-10 pilots receive specialized training in close air support, air-to-ground weapons delivery, and using the aircraft's sophisticated targeting systems. Okay, good. A-700. This training involves extensive simulator sessions, as well as live fire exercises that simulate real-world combat scenarios. So you kind of have to... A-10 pilots are also trained in using the aircraft's powerful 30mm GAU-8A Avenger cannon, which is capable of firing 4,200 rounds per minute and is a critical component of the Warthog's ground attack capabilities. In addition to A-10 pilot training, the Mission Support Group, or MSG team, plays a crucial role in ensuring the success of any bombing mission. It's nice to actually see my work go out. It's nice to see the bombs get loaded and then the jets come back without them because that means that, uh, that means that hostile targets died. That means uh, that we, we got the mission done. We either took out a high-value target or uh, we're saving, we're saving our troops on the ground through coordinated airstrike. So it's just a really good feeling, man. Before each mission, the A-10 goes through a rigorous pre-flight maintenance routine. Maintainers work tirelessly to ensure the aircraft is in top shape and ready to take on any challenge. They perform a thorough inspection of the aircraft, checking everything from the engines to the landing gear. This level of attention to detail ensures that the A-10 is ready to deliver its devastating payload with extreme accuracy. <coughs> now, let's look at the A-10 flying from the pilot's point of view. The aircraft's unique shape and design allow for excellent visibility, which is critical in these kinds of missions. Footage inside the cockpit gives a sense of the precision and skill needed to conduct successful strafing runs. With the pilot's keen eye and the aircraft's exceptional maneuverability, the A-10 is a force to be reckoned with in the skies.
The A-10's pilot has to fly the aircraft just feet above the ground while targeting and firing on enemy ground positions with the aircraft's 30mm GAU 8A Avenger cannon. This means that the pilot has to maintain an incredibly low altitude, which can be both difficult and dangerous. But thanks to the A-10's robust design and advanced cockpit technology, The cockpit view during a strafing run is a remarkable sight, and it's a testament to the skill and bravery of the A-10 pilots who carry out these missions. The A-10's weaponry display showcases its ability to target and destroy ground-based threats with pinpoint accuracy. Its Gatling gun strafe is a formidable display of firepower, unleashing a devastating barrage of bullets on enemy positions. These capabilities are the result of rigorous training and state-of-the-art technology, making the A-10 a vital asset in modern warfare. Moving on to ground target practice, the TACP Hillsung training is a crucial part of the A-10's training regimen. TACP stands for Tactical Air Control Party, which consists of a team of Air Force specialists responsible for coordinating air support during combat missions. The Pilsung Range in South Korea provides a unique training environment with its large mountain ranges and realistic dummy planes. During the training, TACP teams work closely with A-10 pilots to coordinate air support for simulated combat scenarios. Through this training, A-10 pilots and TACP teams hone their skills in communication, coordination, and precision targeting, ensuring that the A-10 remains a deadly weapon on the battlefield. In recent years, unmanned vehicles have become more advanced with the ability to simulate realistic scenarios. This presents a unique challenge for pilots and their teams as they must learn to effectively identify and engage these targets. Through rigorous training and the use of advanced technology, the Air Force is better prepared than ever to engage with unmanned vehicles and other advanced targets. As much as the A-10 and the unmanned vehicles have been a staple in the U.S. Air Force's ground attack capabilities, the B-52 Strato Fortress has been a long-standing bomber aircraft that has seen action in numerous conflicts, from the Vietnam War to the Gulf War and beyond. The B-52's size and capabilities have made it a formidable weapon able to carry a massive payload of bombs and missiles while flying long distances. In recent years, the B-52 has been used in various prominent operations.
However, with the advent of new technologies and the changing nature of warfare, the B-52's days may be numbered. In fact, the U.S. Air Force has announced plans to retire the B-52 by 2050, marking the end of an era. But for now, the B-52 continues to play a vital role in U.S. military operations, and its capabilities are on full display during the exercise of a bombing run. From the bomb loading process to the aircraft taking off to the bombing run itself, the B-52 showcases the precision and power of the U.S. Air Force's aerial capabilities. Moving on to another aircraft in the U.S. Air Force arsenal, the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. Which is capable of delivering a wide range of munitions, including penetrator bombs. The B-2 Spirit is a multi-role bomber that can deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads. One of its unique features is the ability to drop penetrator bombs that can penetrate hardened targets, like underground bunkers. The B-2 Spirit is designed to evade radar detection and can fly at high altitudes and speeds, making it a formidable weapon. With its advanced capabilities and the expertise of its operators, the B-2 Spirit remains a critical component of the United States Air Force's arsenal. While the B-2 and B-52 are formidable aircraft, they require a dedicated team of professionals to keep them in top condition. There have been several upgrades to the B-52 in recent years. Essentially, it allows the B-52 to arm itself with a variety of different bombs at once, so that it can adjust to different tactical situations in real time. The CSRL is essentially a giant rotary wheel covered with hard points. It is designed to sit inside the B-52's bomb bay, allowing the crew to switch between different weapons quickly. These include smart bombs, conventional bombs, air-to-ground missiles, and more. The B-52's large bomb bay is perfect for the CSRL mechanism, which rotates depending on the type of weapon the crew wants to use at any given moment. With these upgrades, the B-52 can quickly switch between munitions based on the current combat situation. From the A-10 Warthog's history and technology, to the B-52's bombing capabilities, and the B-2's advanced penetrator bombs, to the dedicated work of the CSRL maintenance and transportation teams, the USAF continues to play a crucial role in protecting our nation's interests. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.